Hi again then guys, and so we've got another special project replica build for you today. And this time it's for a pretty obscure and rare classic racing machine. We're doing a replica of the Mercedes 300 SLR Uhlenholt Coupe, which is a, as I said, very, very rare race version of the 300 SL. Now, the famous SLR is, of course, the Milli Millia open top version driven by Sterling Moss. But the coupe version is faster in terms of top speed and far far less well known, really. So obviously we're basing it on the existing 300 SL coupe. As far as the visual setup, well obviously we can't make it look exactly like the real 300 SLR, but all we've done to it really is painted it silver, of course. The silver that I've used is Crystal Lorette Silver, which comes from the Mercedes SLR McLaren, appropriately. We've fitted it with three-spoke wire wheels, and of course removed the chrome bumpers. And that's literally all I've done visually, because the actual car doesn't have any racing numbers or anything like that. It's just essentially a base model car, you could say. It doesn't have any race numbers, it's just silver, it's just a high-performance version of the 300 SL Coupe. So, seeing as there's not really any need to go to the visual setup of the car, let's go straight over to the garage for the mechanical setup and then out to the track to see how it performs. So, this mechanical replica of the 300 SLR is mechanically very close to the real car, and as it happens, it sits at a reasonably competitive PP of 465 which it's always nice to have a replica that's actually PP relevant as well. So you want your racing soft tyres, of course. For the suspension, we've got the ride height as low as possible. Springs we've stiffened up to 10 and 8. Dampers to 5. Anti-roll all the way up to 7. Camber on 3. Neutral toe, of course. For the gearbox, we've got an auto setting of 180, which is actually around the kind of speed that the real all in out Coupe was capable of. For the individual gears, we've rounded those off to 3.3, 2150, 1525, 1150, and 910 with a final drive of 3.5. For the diff, same as usual, low initial torque, high acceleration, and low braking. As far as the power, we do have an oil change, so bear that in mind. You want your stage 2 engine tune, the race exhaust, and race manifold, and then we've reduced the power down to 99.3 to bring us up to the exact power of the real 300 SLR Coupe. As far as the weight, you want the full weight loss package, and then we've got a 58 kilo ballast, which we've put all the way to the rear of the car, both to improve the weight split, and also, again, to bring us up to the exact weight of the real 300 SLR Ullinault Coupe, which is 1117 kilos. So, now let's finally go out to the track to see how it performs. Overall, around the track, this car actually handles surprisingly well, considering that the, the 300 SL isn't really known for its handling. It's known for being quite quick for a classic, but not necessarily as being a good handling car. But I have to say, with this particular build, it handles amazingly well, partially due to the, of course, suspension setup, but also due to the fact that it doesn't have a huge amount of power to deal with. It's enough power to make it accurate to the original and fast, but not so much that it's just shredding its tyres all the time or constantly trying to oversteer. It handles really, really well. Now, all things considered, it probably handles a little bit better than it should, considering that it's a replica, and I highly doubt that the original handles as well as this car does, but you got to have some fun with these replicas, and if you can make it competitive at the same time, you might as well. So overall, if you decide to use this replica of the Ullinart Coupe, I hope you find it fun, of course, and potentially competitive, which I believe it could be at the 465pp level, then feel free to subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.